hey guys in this video we are going to discuss merge sort algorithm in javascript so sorting algorithms are very important to know and implement so in this video i will show you one of the popular sorting algorithm called merge sort algorithm implementation in javascript so what is merge sort merge sort is one of the most popular sorting algorithm and it uses the concept of divide and conquer to sort a list of elements it means it will divide the bigger problem into smaller problems and then solve each of the small problems in order to solve the big problem okay so in this example we will take this input array you can see there are few elements strings in this particular input array and after creating a function we should have this output you can see this is now sorted in alphabetical order so we will use merge sort algorithm and it will apply to single array to sort our array okay so for that let's open our javascript file first of all we will create array let's uh, say array and let me copy this array the input array okay so now this is our input array and let me create function using es6 arrow function method uh, sort merge okay is equal to function arrow function okay and using this function let's log the sort array okay so now we will have our output array let me open the console okay now this is undefined okay so let's start creating our function so first of all we will have unsorted array okay so first of all we will check one condition that if our array dot len is less than equal to 1 then we don't want to do anything so no we do uh, we don't need to sort the array if the array only has one element or it is empty okay check if array is empty or having one element so we don't want to do anything after that we need to uh, divide our array into two okay so let's create one constant let's give the name middle middle equal to we will use one javascript function that math math is a javascript object and function is flow okay that will return the greatest integer less than or equal to its numeric argument so we will pass our array here unsorted array dot length divided by two so we will give we will receive one number here let's see what we are receiving here so we are receiving four because we have one two three four five six seven eight nine nine elements so middle will be four okay so this is how we got the middle number okay after that we will find out left part of this array and right part of this array so let's create one constant left is equal to our unsorted array dot javascript function slice and it will return the index to the beginning of the specified portion of this string object so we will pass zero that is start value and end value will be middle so it will return the left part of this array so let's see what it returns so you can see it is it is returning four elements first four elements okay and similarly what we can do we can copy the constant right 
and for that we can also use slice method and first argument will be our middle value now you can see first array is left array is first four elements and right array is rest of the five elements so now we have left and right elements of specific array okay so now what we can do we can uh, return our array and we will merge this array to do that what we can do we can return okay using one function let's say merge merge is a uh, merge is a user defined function that we will create and here we will pass two arguments left and right okay uh, before that what you can do you can call a function this sort merge function in a recursive mat uh, in a recursive way so you can pass sort merge to left array and sort merge to right array and we will return this so this is the function we need to create okay so now let's create another function constant function is equal to yes six okay and here we have to pass two arrays first is left and second is right okay so we have passed left and right in this merge function and we are using this recursive sort merge function for left and right elements okay so now let's create this merge function what this merge function will do so uh, let's see how, how we can create this merge function so first of all we need to use one while loop and let's create one left index variable okay left index is less than our left array so it will check if left index is less than our uh, array left dot length so it should be left dot length okay and let's first define left index value to zero so in while loop we use this left dot length and right index also we need to use let right index is equal to 0 you can define in same line but that's fine doesn't matter now so right index is less than right element dot length so it will look through all the left and right elements in our array so in this while loop we will check if we will check two conditions here the first condition will be left of left index is less than right of right index so what this condition will check it will check if the left of index left index it means all the elements which are uh, here the first left part is less than right of right index so right index will be zero for now so what we will do uh, we will create another array let result uh, let's give name result array and define is a empty array okay so we can pass we can push result array dot push and what we can push here we can push left of left index okay so now result array will be all the elements one by one will be pushed in this result array the left of left index okay and after that we will increase uh, we will increment our left index plus plus okay so this is if condition what if condition is not satisfied then we will have else condition and in else we will use same result array dot push 
and we will push right of right index and right index plus plus it will increment our right index okay so this is how this uh, result array will be generated okay. so now we need to concat the result array because uh, there will be uh, only one element left over after the while loop so we will simply return return result array dot concat what we will concat left dot slice what will be slice left index okay again dot concat what will be concated right dot slice and right index so this will return a result array with concat function okay so now we already have called this sort merge function and we should be have correct result okay so now let's reload and see if it is any error doesn't seem any error so let's wait to reload let me open this again reopen our local host okay so now let's inspect console and we have one error cannot read properties of undefined reading slice on 17th line okay so we have error here so what we are doing out of this while loop we are returning result array dot concat left okay so this is the error left dot slice yeah. now you can see we have sorted array a b d k m m t u and z so you can see now M A C M O N K U I. So this is correct order. If you consider the alphabetical order, this is correct. Okay. Now we can test. We can add one more element. Let's give the name of me. Uh, okay. And it should be A B D H. So this is fine. Okay. So using this sort merge in recursive fashion you can use uh, you can uh, merge sort our error uh, sorry array in javascript okay so uh, this code will be our main function this merge function will be our main function and using this merge function we will uh, call this sort merge function in recursive way okay so uh, we need to make sure that we are sorting all the elements in the left and right that's why we are uh, merging this function using this merge function okay so this looks little bit uh, hard if you are uh, looking at this first time but believe me this is very simple method to merge a single javascript array okay merge and sort merge sort algorithm it calls okay so i hope you learn something new th in this video and if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and if you have any question or any suggestions you can leave your comments below and uh, you can visit my channel there are more than 200 videos there are more than 50 videos on javascript in the same uh, javascript playlist there are more than uh, 50 60 videos in css as well so please have a look and please subscribe to my channel and see you next time around. Thank you.